I did it. Ah. Oh, we got hit. Oh, we got hit. Come on. Whoa. Are you kidding me? Really? What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> this guy. It's a little too much. Let's watch again how AJ Styles was toppled tonight. Ooh, I can't believe this. These guys showed flashes in this match, but flashes uh. don't exactly set the world on fire, as these highlights show. <laughs> One more time. <laughs> And Sam Soldier right here, back again, baby. Let go. Chapter two. What we got? I still can't believe it's really all over for you and Red. I know. It is starting to sink in, though. Just this morning, I was thinking about that time we faced each other in a Falls Count Anywhere match. Man, that was brutal. Yeah, but thanks to you in that match, now every time my jaw hurts, I know it's gonna rain. Really? Maybe you should get that checked out. No way. You might be the champ who runs the camp, but I'm the champ who knows when it's damp. Yeah, that doesn't quite have the same ring to it. Hey, pull that match up on your phone if you don't mind. Got played, man. You know what I'm saying? I spoke to Trey and AJ before this match, and both men admitted that they were experiences. Ha ha. Uh-huh, let's see that. Get up. Get up. Oh. Hey, bro. How you like it? No. No. Get out the way, man. Get off me! Stick there one more time! Stick there one more time, baby! AJ Styles brings it every time. Get off me, man! Oh. In the career of the phenomenal one. Yeah, baby. Epic. Can't stop it. Tonight. AJ Styles able to avoid damage there. Such a technician. Here it comes, he's got him. What's this? 
Congratulate you, Red. You really deserve this. Thanks, Natty. I know we had some differences over the years, but we always worked them out in the ring. Yeah, except that one time we got into it backstage. <laughs> I forgot about that. I didn't. You threw me into a road case. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. What were we even fighting about? The usual stuff. Who was better, the title, you saying you were the best female superstar to ever come out of Calgary. Mm -hmm. Got play, man. Oh, you got That's right. Now I remember. Big reversal. And now that one's countered. That was impressive, oh Michael. My God. Oh, what a four. Down. The Genoku driver. Whoa! Hoo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Hoo -hoo. That was nice. Get up. Get up. Come on. Get up. Hey, baby. is a force within the ring. Uh, What's this? Michinoku driver! Oh. Absolutely planted. She's in full control now. Uh, oh, what a slam! What power! What dominance! Uh, Ooh, what impact! Oh, kick right to the gut! Not the fall that hurts. It's just what yes. Win a singles match. Yes, I got it. <laughs> she tough, man. Oh my god. <laughs> Yo, that wasn't easy. Hey, it's X Pac. Just keep walking. We don't have time. We always have time for X Pac. Besides, you can't just ignore a WWE Hall of Famer. I can. Trey. Pac, what's going on? Hey, guys. Looking good. You too. Thanks. I'm on this new mustard-only diet. As in mustard is the only condiment you use? No, as in I only eat mustard. I've already dropped like seven pounds. That's interesting. But enough about me. This is your big night. I swear it was just like yesterday when I first saw you two on the indie scene. Yeah, at that point we were only a couple years in. And I was about 30 years in. But I could still go today if I had to. I'm telling you, this diet's legit. I guess you could say you can cut the mustard, huh? Anyway, we wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for you. So, thanks. I'm sure you'd have been fine with it without my help. Trey? I don't think I can say the same for you. You were kind of the drizzling craps back then. No offense. No, it's true. 
And I wasn't just a drizzle. I was more like a torrential downpour of crap. Red was always ahead of me from the moment we started training. <laughs> hey, X-Files. That's my boy right there, yo. Hey, you can use this credit card for whatever you need, but we keep the reward points. I'm about 10,000 short of a free trip to someplace warm, and you're gonna help me get there. Deal? Got it. We are gonna miss oh. you so much. When did you get there? I just had to be close to you one more time. I, it feels like yesterday we got that call. There was a boy in Denver who was ready to be adopted, and now you're all grown up and going off to college. I, I, I just can't believe it. <laughs> I know. It's hard for me to believe, too. We'll come visit soon, okay? No, don't. I mean... A big part of college is learning independence, and if you're visiting all the time, then I'll never be able to do that. Just be smart about the credit card, okay? Like, if there's a big keg party, put it all on the card and have everyone pay you back in cash. That way, I'll be headed for that free beach trip in no time. Hey, maybe we could go on spring break together. Frank? I have to go. Okay, drive safe. This is the part where you get out of the car. <laughs> right. Call us when you get to school. We love you, Denver! Alright, that was my parents. You gotta love them. Do you believe this? We're finally doing it. Our very first list item. Train at the dungeon. Are you excited as I am? I don't think that's possible, considering you've already had three energy drinks before we've even left town. <laughs> but this is going to be cool. I know. Think about how many top superstars came through Calgary. The Hearts, Edge, Jake the Snake Roberts, Rowdy Roddy Piper, and we're next. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. We have a long way to go before we can be mentioned in the same sentence as those legends. Everyone has to start somewhere, though, right? And the dungeon is a great place to start. I still can't believe your parents were okay with all this. What happened to them wanting you to go to college? They changed their minds. Just like that? Just like that. Huh. Well, that's good. Hey, pull over real quick. Bathroom break already? No, I want to show you something. See that sign? Our faces are going to be on it someday. You really think we can become more famous than the inventor of the paper toilet seat cover? He put a lot of butts in seats. And when we make it to WWE, so will we. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Time for a road trip game. If you could face anyone who trained in Calgary in a dream match, who would it be? Isn't it a little early for road trip games? We still have like 2,000 miles to go. Come on, I'll get you started with some options. How about Bret Hart, Jake the Snake, or Rowdy Roddy Piper? Rowdy, come on. That would be so cool to face a legend like that. Could you imagine? The universe. Into the hammerlock. Oh boy. Boom. Come on, I got this. Let's go. Let's go. He's getting a little batter now. It's nothing he hasn't been through before. Oh. Oh. Get off me, man. Get off me, man. Stick there one more time. How do you like that? How do you like that? Huh? How do you like that? Yeah. Get up. You know what? And Roddy Piper steps out of harm's way. Get up, me. Oh, nice. That was nice. That was nice. Larry, good Lord, that was nasty. Now, oh, my God. Oh, my God. 
Get off me, man. Too many disappointed viewers at home. Not with action like we just saw. Yep. I was happy. That was a good fight. That's a good fight. <sighs> this is it. The home of the famous dungeon. I swear, I can almost hear the wrestlers of the past groaning in pain. <laughs> That's my stomach. For the past two days, I've had nothing but moose jerky, maple puffs, and poutine. Yikes. Look, I just want to say, I know I've been a little skeptical, but now that we're here, I can see us doing this. I mean, once Bret Hart hears how far we drove, he's going to have no choice but to welcome us right in for training. So, thanks for pushing me on this. Of course. Well, here we go. <sighs> hey there. I bet you're here for Bret Hart, eh? Uh, hello. Uh, and yes, he's going to train us to be wrestlers. Eh? I'm not sure I'm using that correctly. Is Brett home right now? He is! Hang on a sec. Brett! Two lovely people are here for wrestling training! He'll be right down. I'm sure he's just putting his tights on, gelling up his hair, finding his sunglasses. He's gotta look the part, you know. Of course. So are you Brett's... housekeeper? Okay, seriously, guys? I'm messing with you. Uh -huh. So, Brett's not home? No. And he hasn't been for years. The hearts don't live here anymore. But you said... This kind of thing happens like once a month. And I like to have a little fun when I break the news. How is that fun? We just spent three days driving here. And I gave myself severe stomach issues. At this point, we'd settle for one of the more obscure Hart <clears throat> brothers or even a distant cousin. Like I said, none of them are here. You seem like nice kids. Stupid, but nice. Next time... Do some research before you decide to drive all the way up here. Jeez, Ooh. so much for Canadian hospitality. I thought you said you checked all this out online. I did. I mean, I searched for dungeon and wrestling, and then some really weird stuff came up, and I kind of got sidetracked. Point being, don't look at my browser history. But hey, we came all the way here. We should at least get a picture. <laughs> eh, can we do another one? I was making a weird face, probably on account of the stomach pain. Maybe you were right about us trying to become wrestlers. 
We've already failed at the first thing on our list. And maybe we're not cut out for this. Hey, wait, we can't just give up that easily. I have an idea! <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. So you drove all the way to Calgary thinking you were going to train with Bret Hart? I've done some stupid stuff in my life, but that takes the cake. <laughs> it wasn't our finest moment. <laughs> but since I had a dad who only looked at the rewards section on the credit card bill, we were able to stay in Calgary and learn from a former wrestler who, at least according to him, trained with the hearts back in the day. I think he just ran next to one on a treadmill once. So that's how you guys hooked up with Riley Flash. Yeah. After striking out at the dungeon, it was kind of our only option. Even though Riley can be a bit much sometimes, he gave us the foundation we needed to get here today. He also gave us ringworm with his dirty mats, but that's a whole other story. Mm. Get off me, man. Get off me. Get off me. Bang. I don't like that. Get up. Get up. Uh. Come on, back here. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> Yo, this is epic. Yeah, baby. <laughs> that was nice. Woo! I did it. Oh, we got hit. Oh, we got hit. Come on. Whoa. Whoa. Are you kidding me? Really? What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> this guy. Slip too much. Wow. Get your feet up on the turnbuckle. Push off and roll backwards. You can pin him like that. Ah. <laughs> This guy. This guy. Oh. This guy. It's all right. Yeah, you did good. You did good. Catch your breath. We'll get him next time, all right? You good? This guy. <laughs> he bad news. Too much, man. Guys, come here. We need to talk. Say too much. Is it about your disgusting ring mat? Because I feel like it's making me itch all over. Hey, Gosh. what was that for? For playing to an imaginary crowd. It cost you the match. Red, great job. Keep it up. Remind me why I show up here every day to get tortured? That's not torture if you're paying for it. Now, what I didn't tell you was that match was actually a tryout. For what? Is WWE coming to town? Not quite. It was a tryout for the local Winterfest that's coming up. The organizers asked me to put on a wrestling event. That's great. Who are we going to face? I wouldn't mind a rematch against those two. Slow down. After what I just saw, only one of you was ready for their first official match. Whoa. Sorry, Red. You'll get your chance soon. <laughs> Uh, Red's the one who's ready, not you, doughhead. What? When it comes to in-ring ability, Red's got you beat by a kilometer. Isn't that less than a mile? Oh, thanks for the conversion, Albert Asswipe. Bottom line, you're too focused on the entertainment side of things. Well, maybe you weren't focused enough on the entertainment side of things. Didn't you only appear in WWE, like, three times? Uh, four, if you count the time I helped carry Macho Man to the ring on his fancy chair gimmick. You mean a sedan? No, it was a chair, not a car. Either way, I was in WWE four more times than you'll ever be. I'll make it there someday. It's on our list. Oh, yeah, and someday I'm gonna poop golden nuggets. Oh, no offense, Red. Whatever. You'll see. Congrats on getting your first match. You know I'll be there cheering you on. Thanks. I know. Uh, speaking of cheering her on, since you like running your mouth so much, you can accompany her to the ring as a manager. That actually might be a better fit for you long term. A manager? 
That's not what I'm here for. You'll figure this out. I know it. Oh, one more thing. I need to know what to call you so they can advertise the event. Oh, that's easy. I'm sticking with Red. Kids started calling me that in high school because of my temper, but I'm gonna turn it into something positive. Okay. Man, what about you? Sticking with Denver? Mm, I don't know. Sounds too regional. And Omli. I know. How about uh, Albert Asswipe? Nah. Carl Botch, on account of all the moves you botch? <laughs> I like that one. How about I pay tribute to my wonderful trainer and call myself Riley Flash Jr.? Oh, that ain't happening. Do you have any other nicknames? Trey! No, no, don't listen to her. I kind of like that. And you can spell it T-R-E, so it's kind of like three in Spanish, as in getting a three count to win a match. Which probably won't happen very often for you, but you get it, right? Yeah, I get it. Great. Then Trey it is. Thanks a lot. No problem, Trey. And hey, I just realized we can cross something off our list. Come up with awesome wrestling names. I don't know about the awesome part. <laughs> I love my girl. She's nice. She's huge. Epic. Epic. That's it. Remember Henry right here? That's all I got right now. i see you later. Ha ha. Ha ha. Yeah.